Hello everyone. I have the default WordPress website installed and I'm going to install the lead squeezer plugin on my website. So I'm moving back to the WordPress dashboard and under the plugins I'm going to add a new plugin. I'm pressing the upload plugin button and I'm just choosing the file. So I have chosen the plugin main plugin zip file and I'm now installing it. When you download the plugin yourself, you will also get a file named leadsqueezer.zip. You need to choose that file and install that. Once your plugin is successfully uploaded, you need to activate it. After you activate the plugin, you will see a lead squeezer tab appearing right here on the bottom. I'm clicking a create a new squeezer form button right here on the top. Once you click on the button, you will see a nice interface appear to create your first lead squeezer. So here I'm going to put up the squeezer name of my first squeezer. Under the description, I'm just putting out some random description. Next, I'm filling up the squeezer with some, some kind of content right here. Under this content field, you can put up any title that you want to put up, any subtitle, any description text, and if you want, you can put up some of the bullet list. So I have already created some of those content, so I'm just copying right here. So you have the basic squeezer content written all over right here. Next is the field for adding up the custom content in the squeezer. So in case if you want to have the whole squeezer appear with the video of yours, you can put up the video embed code in this text area. Right now I'm creating the basic squeezer without the video. So I'm just putting out this content and moving downwards. Next is the form field values. If you want to change some of the form fields, you can probably do it from here. For this example, I'm just try leaving it as it is. Under the display setting, you can actually manage the squeezer on certain number of things. Let's say you want to delay the squeezer to appear after a particular time. So you can automatically delay it from, uh, from right here. You can customize whether you want to show the squeezer every time or just one time. So I'm just handling the every time here. And do you want to show the squeezer on every page, page or any other particular page that you want to choose, you can choose right here. Next, you can probably customize on which template to choose. The lead squeezer comes with multiple uh, templates. So you can choose any of those five templates. So there are different, different kind of templates and each template comes with different colors. So here is some kind of blue color. If you are not satisfied with it, you can probably choose the green color and the whole content would appear in the green color itself. So after filling out those details, I'm just saving out the changes. Once those changes are saved, I'm moving back to the front end of the website and I'm reloading this page. You can see that I have a squeezer form which came up right here. The user comes up, he can subscribe to the mailing list to your mailing list. Let's say you want to customize this uh, whole squeezer with your own content and if you want to show up any videos you can also show up as you want. So I have uh, opened here youtube.com and here is one of my videos. So what I need to do is I'm clicking this share button and I'm grabbing this embed code. So I have grabbed this embed code and next I'm going to first of all choose which template fits for this video so let's say I want this vertical template so I'm choosing the template 3 for my video so what this uh, embed could probably do is it would show your form right here but under this content area it would show your video so that the users who who appears to see this squeezer would actually see your video he can actually watch it uh, right at that time when the squeezer appears and if he likes the video he can probably subscribe in the bottom so I'm going to the squeezer content area so you can leave this content as it is because the, it is not going to show up anywhere when the video arrives so under this custom content in the squeezer I'm just pasting out the ambit code which I have copied out from the YouTube 
So since I have selected template 5, oh, since I have selected template 3, I can choose which width and which height would fit it. So in the template tree, the embed code width and height should be somewhere around 500 by 315. So I have chosen 500 by 315 and I am just saving out the changes. Once the changes are saved, I am again refreshing the page. Now if the user is visiting your website, he would see with the video right playing right over on the top. So he can watch over your video and if he likes the video he can probably subscribe himself. So first of all before subscribing we need to connect any Aweber or MailChimp account that you might have. So what you need to do is you need to go on to this mailing list. The Leads Squeezer plugin comes with multiple connection options. So you can connect your uh, a MailChimp account, Aweber account, eye contact, constant contact, get response or campaign monitor account with this plugin. So right now I have connected this Aweber account of mine. All you need to do is you need to press the connect button and once uh, you press the connect button for the Aweber it would take you to the um, authentication page where you need to fill out your username and password. Once you fill out your username and password it would redirect back you to this page and then you can pro click on this get mailing list and pro select any of the mailing lists that you have under your Aweber account. So for this account I'm just choosing Inc Affiliates and after selecting this one, one important thing that you need to do is if you have some thank you page or some other page that you want to redirect after this, the, redirect the user after successful sus subscription, you can enter that redirect URL right here. If you don't want him to redirect and if you want him to stay on the same page, you need to put out the same page URL right here. So for this example, I'm just want I just wanted the user to stay on the same page after the subscription is over. So I have written the same website URL at themes.com. And once it's done, I'm just saving out the changes. So now if someone arrives on your website and if he sees your squeezer and he wishes to subscribe to your squeezer, he will just put out his details and he would subscribe to your squeezer. Once subscribed, he would automatically be redirected to any page uh, that you want him to redirect it to. Since I have already put that email address uh, uh, f firstly, so it is just saying me that you, I need to confirm my subscription. So this is the whole concept of this plugin. It would definitely help you increase your mailing list and you can probably off, uh, offer your users some kind of reports, free downloads or any software or if you want to show them any videos before they subscribe to your mailing list you can probably show them. So thanks for watching this uh, video. I'm pretty sure you would love to use the Lead Squeezer plugin and would love to put it on your website. Thanks again for watching this video.